Praise the Lord, everybody. This is Evangelist Kalata Davis right here from Spread, Spread in the Gospel Network. And we're recording uh, live today for uh, via our Facebook page, via our radio station, or the Gospel America Network channel. Uh, we're just thanking the Lord for being able to uh, provide the word of God on all those various platforms. And usually my segment is in a form of a talk show uh, style, but today the Lord led me to go ahead and just do a quick word of God on the broadcast today. So we're just thanking God for our pastor, uh, Pastor Samuel Davis from One Heart Ministry, where we have divine women, uh, we have the Spreading the Gospel Network, and we also have our Spreading the Gospel magazines. And launching in March 2021 is our brand new entertainment magazine. God, we thank you. We give you praise. Uh, we thank the Lord for all that he's done and he's getting ready to do. And we just pray and hope that this word will be edifying to you, encouraging to you to continue on to do the things of the Lord. Hallelujah. Today we're going to be talking about equip for battle. But before we go into the word, we'll just go do a brief word of prayer. God, we thank you for allowing us to go out to the airways via email, uh, via Facebook, via um, spreading the gospel radio station, via the Gospel America channel uh, network, uh, Apostle Gary Jenkins in San Angelo's, Texas, our covering. We thank God for all that you've done, what you're getting ready to do for us, God. We thank you for preparing a place for us, God, to give you praise and to give you glory. Thank you for the covering of our families, God, and the blood is over the doorposts. We thank you, God, for all those that are sick and shut in, that can hear my voice, wherever you are, that the Lord still heals, hallelujah, he still delivers, he still saves, and he's still satisfied. To God be the glory for all the things he's getting ready to do in your life. And we thank you and we praise you now, God, for all that you're doing. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Equip for the battle. Armed for war warfare. Armed and dangerous. Hallelujah. I thank God for this word today. And we're going to go right into our scripture setting. Uh, at this time, God, we thank you for Ephesians 6 and 11 verses 11 through um, 18. Hallelujah. Put on the whole arm of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness uh, of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole arm of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand, to stand. Stand therefore having your lawns girt about with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplications in the spirit and watching therefore with all perseverance and supplication to all, to all saints. Lord, we thank you and praise you for that scripture reading. May it be edifying and a blessing to your soul. And Lord, we just thank you for our armor. We thank you for every day we get up, God. We already prepared. We got on our, uh, we put on our helmet. Hallelujah. We put on the uh, the breastplate of righteousness. Hallelujah. Wanted to live a, a upright life before the people of God. Uh, hallelujah. We thank you, God, for just blessing us, hallelujah, in measures above measures. God, we thank you for, uh, hallelujah, being able to withstand in the evil day, hallelujah, being able to stand during the pandemic, hallelujah, and say that all our tests come back negative, hallelujah. Even when my husband had the uh, uh, COVID, COVID virus, hallelujah, that 
uh, we we did not get it. We were sleeping in the same bed. You know that's God to put that shield of protection around me. Hallelujah. I felt that that was part of my armor. Hallelujah. To stand there for having your lawns girt about with truth and having on that breastplate that shields your heart. Hallelujah. You got to guard your heart. In the times we're living in now, you got to be looking out. Hallelujah. And just check out your surroundings. Hallelujah. When I'm getting ready to fight, I want to I want to know who's coming up from behind me. Hallelujah. Who's trying to come up the stairs? Hallelujah. If I'm on another level. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who's trying to come uh, from above me? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The prince of darkness. Hallelujah. That sits in high places. Hallelujah. Then he rules in this world, but God rules everything. God is in control of everything that we do. Hallelujah. Everything that we say. God, we thank you. We praise you now. Hallelujah. For our feet are shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Hallelujah. We come to give the word of God that encourages, that builds up, that strengthens. Hallelujah. There's, there's scriptures for healing. Hallelujah. There's scripture for deliverance. Everything you need is in the word of God. Hallelujah. They have so many different translations that will break that word of God down. It doesn't change the word of God. But it may it simplifies it for us to understand it and be able to teach it effectively. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Most of the time, I, I just go to the standard King James Version, but sometimes I go to the Amplified or different versions of the Bible to get a correct understanding for the times that we're living in. And we thank God for this word. We thank God for the armor. Hallelujah, because that armor is protecting us. That armor is getting us. We are, we are already ready. So whatever comes from the north, south, east, or west, we're ready. Hallelujah. Put up your dukes. Come on, let's get ready to fight. Hallelujah. I've always been a fight. I've always been a fighter, a survivor. Hallelujah. I'll fight for what's mine. Hallelujah. Come on now. We're protecting this anointing. We're protecting this Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. We're protecting and shielding our families, hallelujah. How many walk through the house at night just praying and before the Lord, just walking back and forth, hallelujah. Back in the day, the saints would say they would put oil in their husband's shoes. Come on, hallelujah. But he probably got up and put his shoes on and began felt like I'm sliding, I'm sliding. But guess what? It was just the anointing of God. Hallelujah. How I many go through the house and anoint your children when they were asleep? When mine was younger, hallelujah, I would definitely do that. Hallelujah. Now that they're old, I, I learned how to speak out of my mouth. Hallelujah. What I need God to do for them. Hallelujah. I thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. For having this word that I've hidden in my heart that I may not sin against you. Hallelujah. You better get this word in you. Hallelujah. Because it may come a time that you don't have your iPhone. It may come a time you can't pull it up on the iPad. It's come a time you might not can go to your computer, but you're going to have to pull up that word of God. Hallelujah. To be able to stand against what's going on in the atmosphere. You have to create an atmosphere of praise and of worship. Hallelujah. Giving God the glory. Hallelujah. Everything I do, I give God thanks. I give him praise. Hallelujah. In my good times, I still give him praise. In my bad times, I give him praise. My sad times, I still rejoice within, hallelujah, because I know I have a confidence that's going to take me through even my down times, my sad times. He, he never leaves you. He never forsakes you. Hallelujah. Just know that God is always right there with you. Hallelujah. So you're equipped. Hallelujah. When you get your equipment, uh, I was thinking about my son. Uh, they played um, when they played baseball or or whatever they played, football or, or whatever, soccer, whatever they played, they always had equipment. Hallelujah. You can't even play the game without the proper equipment. So we can't stand against the enemy and against the wiles of the devil uh, without having the proper equipment and having it secure that it fits you. Your armor fits you. Hallelujah. Back in the day when they had the armor on, it was heavy. Hallelujah. And uh, everybody couldn't put on the armor. Like when they tried to put uh, somebody's armor on David, I'm sure it almost swallowed him because he was up against a giant. Hallelujah. So the person next door, 
if your neighbor in the in the church or the ministry, their armor is not gonna fit you. So what I'm going through, your armor won't won't work. Hallelujah. But my own armor that I was issued, <laughs> hallelujah. God issued it to me. Like when you enlist in the army, they uh issue you everything you need, your shoes. Your, your, your foot is shot with the uh, preparation of the gospel of peace. We come in peace. Hallelujah. We come in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. But every high place got to come down. Hallelujah. Come in doing some damage. When you're a prayer warrior, you know how to go in the spirit realm and you can pull those strongholds down. Get your hand off of them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We won't let a day go by with you having possession of their soul or their their spirit that that foul spirit got to come out hallelujah you have to learn how to bind the devil out the lord said whatever you bind on earth i'll bind it in heaven hallelujah thank you thank you jesus he'll bind it on earth he'll bind it in heaven in other words let me take care of you let me take care of that situation i'm in the fight with you hallelujah when they saw that when they throw them into uh the fiery furnace when they throw the three Hebrew boys in the fiery furnace, hallelujah, that the, they couldn't uh, deny it. When they looked, there was four. We knew we threw in three, but now we see four, and it looks like, <laughs> come on, somebody, do you look like the Son of God? Do you uh, represent Jesus everywhere you go? Hallelujah. When I think about your feet, I think about that's taking you to different places. Hallelujah. That's, that's your movement, your feet. Hallelujah. Come on now. And when you walk in about uh, before the people of God, hallelujah, God is taking you to new territories. Some of you, he's enlarging your territory. Hallelujah. He's going to make it so large that you can't handle it. Hallelujah. God will never do anything to purposely get you to fail. Hallelujah. But he is setting you up to, to be prosperous and to be a winner. Hallelujah, you are a winner. This battle's already been fought. It's fixed. Hallelujah, the fight is fixed. Hallelujah, that, that God is fighting for you, so he's going to win. In the end, you're going to win. Don't don't wait till the battle is what? Over? Go ahead and shout right now. Go ahead and give God praise right now. Go ahead and give God some glory right there. Hallelujah. I feel the anointing of God. I feel like pulling down some stronghold. I feel like praying. I feel like singing. Hallelujah. I feel like dancing. I feel like running. Come on in here. Hallelujah. Just come on in the room and let's give, give God some praise and give him glory. So hold, hold on to your equipment. Hold on to your sword. Uh, that sword of the spirit, the, the, uh, it cuts like a two-edged sword. It'll cut you going. It'll cut you coming back. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I thank God when I was out there doing my foolishness that I never, hallelujah, I never get to a point that I was so foolish that I got cut, stabbed, shot. I ain't never, none of that thing. God shield all of that from me, even when I was in my mess. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for shielding and protecting me. Hallelujah. I was in some places I shouldn't have been. But God shielded me. Hallelujah. Things went down, but guess what? God blocked it from me. Hallelujah. When I was in a car accident, coming from uh, uh, going to a meeting for my divine women in Atlanta, I got hit by 18 wheel of y'all. Got hit. Hallelujah. Minding my own business, trying to go do God's work. But guess what? The, the driver of the truck wasn't paying attention, and I had signaled to get off on the exit. So he hit me on the back end of my car where the gas tank was. And that whole passenger side that sits behind me, come on now, hallelujah, it came all the way in and it stopped right when it got to the young lady that was sitting behind me. And the, the Lord had already just brought her through a month before her aunt had got killed by a 18 wheeler come on god will put you in a place hallelujah that you have to call on him holly nobody could do it but jesus hallelujah and it was in rush hour traffic people just zooming back zoom 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 hallelujah that that truck hit us 
on the back end and it just flipped us around four lanes of oncoming traffic hallelujah almost hit the brick wall hallelujah but god got us right to the edge of that i said in the name of jesus hallelujah hallelujah i had to use my armor hallelujah had to call on jesus but then god uh blocked that hallelujah to a point that uh we we didn't get hurt we didn't get not a scratch on anybody but when the car stopped we were facing oncoming traffic come on now hallelujah and if anybody that's been to atlanta know that you don't even you don't even go out you don't even go out on the highway if you don't know how to drive in the rush hour traffic hallelujah but god blocked it god shielded us he protected us hallelujah and then um i saw a man coming to the highway come on here hallelujah jesus he came into the highway and he stopped the traffic coming oncoming traffic he stopped the traffic and told me you gotta get out of there you gotta get out of there uh, they're gonna somebody else is gonna hit you hallelujah and i began to turn the wheel of the car that's in the name of jesus hallelujah in the name of jesus god we thank you for blocking it hallelujah thank you for protecting everyone that was in that car and when we got on the side of the road i had my eyes closed i felt a hand on my hand come on y'all i'm telling you the god on his truth i felt a hand in the hallelujah and the the voice told me the man said to me are you okay and when i opened my eyes it wasn't nobody there hallelujah they was looking at me sort of funny in the car but i know it was jesus that sent an angel to block and shield and protect us hallelujah there ain't nobody like jesus there's nobody like him hallelujah you can put your faith some trust in horses some trust in chariots but i shall believe in the name of the lord <coughs> Excuse me, God bless you, hallelujah. For the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run in and we are saved. Hallelujah, I thank God. Every now and then I tell that testimony because hallelujah, God blocked that. Nobody got a scratch on them. Nobody was hurt, hallelujah. The car was total, uh, hallelujah, but nobody was hurt. Guess what? You can replace a car. You can replace things and uh, ma the material things in life, but you can't replace your soul, your, your, your soul. Hallelujah. We all have a soul within us. Hallelujah. That God has a shield around. Hallelujah. I thank you, Lord, for protecting us and shielding us because I had too much work to do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When he healed me from double lung cancer, I had too much work to do. When he allowed me to do my CD project, hallelujah, destined for greatness, hallelujah, which we're going to be talking about on next week, destined and your destiny and your purpose, hallelujah, hallelujah, on this right here on this talk show, uh, right or here on the Gospel America Television Network, we thank God for you tuning in, hallelujah, get your get your equipment ready, get your armor ready, stay ready to do warfare hallelujah stay ready to protect and shield your anointing protect and shield your loved ones hallelujah we are seasoned saints we're we're the ones that's supposed to be showing them the way he called the young because they're strong hallelujah but he called us because what we know the way hallelujah and if you know the way and you're not doing what what you know to do is right hallelujah give us a call 919-239-0369 hallelujah let us pray with you hallelujah let's pray you through let us uh uh encourage you that you can make it hallelujah there is a plan of salvation that we would love to go over with you hallelujah that that, that there is a god that still saves he went to the cross and he died for your sins and my sins hallelujah that he could issue us our equipment our armor Hallelujah, so we can fight the good fight. Hallelujah, I could just tell you this little brief story to just lift your spirit, cause laughter is like medicine. My daughter, uh, when she was growing up, she was never a fighter. Hallelujah, she was never the one that would fight. Hallelujah, and I'm like, is that my child? 
uh, this young young lady kept picking with her and picking with her, and uh, I would always tell her stop, just leave her alone, just leave her alone. And one day we was riding in the car, the young lady just hauled off and hit her. I turned around, I was driving, I turned around, I said get her. <laughs> For I know I told her to get her. Hallelujah, enough is enough. Hallelujah, we done took enough. Hallelujah, we done took enough hits now. Hallelujah, the enemy has already thrown those fiery darts at you, and uh, some of them have hit you, hit you. Hallelujah, we've had some casualties. Hallelujah, in this battle. Hallelujah, we've lost some good soldiers. Hallelujah, in this battle. But God is saying today, get equipped for this battle. Hallelujah, stay equipped for this battle. Hallelujah, for the battle is not yours but it belongs to the Lord, that you got him fighting on your side. You're on the winning team, hallelujah. So just continue to press on in the name of Jesus. Continue to fight on in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Continue to lift up the name of the Lord, hallelujah, wherever you go. And if anything that we could do, at, see right here at One Heart Ministry, located in Henderson, North Carolina, or Divine Women, which ministers to the scars of a woman, or spreading the gospel network that's spreading the gospel, what? All over the world. Thank you for the 60 plus that have joined into our, our radio station, our magazine. We thank you for your support because you're helping us to spread the gospel. Hallelujah, because we want to win as many as we can into the kingdom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, we're gonna take it by force. We're gonna fight to the end, hallelujah, and you're gonna win. The young lady kept messing with her. She got tired of it, and she began to fight and pull hair, and I had to pull over on the side of the road and pull them out the car, and oh, she was huffing and puffing. Hallelujah, I said, oh, oh, I don't think you will have any more problems out of her. But then when she went to school that next week, she took a girl in the bath, or a girl who messed with her in the bathroom. She grabbed her. I said, uh-oh, uh-oh, I got to train her. <laughs> it's a time to fight, and it's a time to not, it's a time and a season for everything. So you have to stand up for yourself, but you don't necessarily have to make it physical. Hallelujah. But you could tell them to leave me alone. That's what we're telling the devil today. Leave the saints alone. You've been fighting our families long enough, hallelujah. You've been causing friction and division and all that kind of stuff in the body of Christ, but we're gonna unite. We're gonna come together under the umbrella of the Spreading the Gospel Network, and we're gonna lift up the name of Jesus. Continue to pray our strength in the Lord and just realize that the battle is not yours, it's the Lord. It's the song that the saints used to sing. I wish my husband was here to play it right now. Hallelujah, I'm a soldier in the army of the Lord. I'm gonna fight till I die. Hallelujah, I'm gonna fight, fight, fight. Hallelujah, I love to sing the praises of God. And I, I am a soldier in the army of the Lord. And once you become a soldier, Come on, stay enlisted in God's army. Continue to pray our strength in the Lord. Again, our phone number is 919-239-0369. You can email us at spreadingthegospel at mail.com. And our website is bit.ly forward slash spread the gospel. Pray for my strength in the Lord and continue to help us to spread the gospel all over the world. Thank you for tuning in to the Spreading the Gospel Network. Download the app from Google Play or the Apple Store for a 24-7 listening experience. And for unbelievable rates, you can advertise your business or have your own radio show on the Spreading the Gospel Network to promote the kingdom and bless the people of God. We also want you to consider advertising in our exclusive digital and printed magazine. Enhance your Spreading the Gospel experience by subscribing to the magazines and to our YouTube channel. And we are offering a promotional package for our new Spreading the Gospel Entertainment Magazine, Fresh Oil. 
The first printed and digital issue will be available in March 2021. And that's not all. Tune in to our empowerment call every Monday night at 7.30 p.m. And the Spreading the Gospel television talk show airs weekly on the station and on the Gospel America television network. For more information, contact the CEO of Spreading the Gospel Network, Kalata Davis, today at 919-239-0369. That's 919-239-0369. Or visit the website at bit. Dot ly forward slash spread the gospel. That's bit. Dot ly forward slash spread the gospel. We are extending an invitation to join the Spreading the Gospel Internet Radio Station. Advertise in our magazines or be added to the Gospel America Television Network to have your own talk show. And we want to thank you in advance for helping us to spread the gospel all over the world.